For survivors of Monday's mass shooting, numb from the trauma, some insight tonight from a Colorado Springs woman who survived a mass shooting in Colorado at Columbine High School. KRDO News Channel 13, Sydney Stell has the message of healing live in the newsroom. Sydney. Columbine was 22 years ago now, but the survivor I talked with today says she is still healing from the trauma. The moments of April 20th, 1999 will stick with Amanda Duran forever. I heard one of the boys say, don't worry, you're all going to be dead in a few minutes. And I believed it. I had no reason not to believe it. She was a sophomore at Columbine High School, just 15 years old, when she started hearing popping noises outside the school's library. And then I start hearing some more of those popping noises, this time from inside the school. I'm thinking, oh crap, this is, this is real. She heard the gunman enter the library where she was hiding under a desk. They started shooting. And I go completely deaf. My ears are ringing. And I'm thinking, this is it. So I curl up in a little, little ball, put my arms over my head, just brace myself to get shot in the ribs. Somehow, Amanda survived that day. 15 others did not. Now, just 45 minutes down the road from Columbine, 10 more lives taken senselessly in Boulder. Another Colorado community left to grieve. The similarities are striking. She says the survivors of the grocery store shooting have a long road ahead. Even though Columbine was almost 22 years ago, I'm still 15 on the inside. I'm, I'm frozen. I can still go back to that day in, in, a, in a heartbeat. For people who have not been through the trauma, it can be hard to understand what it's like. You talk about panic attacks when a balloon pops or something and they'll have no idea what you're talking about. They'll look at you like you're crazy. And for the survivors of Monday's shooting, Amanda asks them to hold on to hope. I can promise that things will get better and you will be able to go into a grocery store again. It's gonna take a while. I'm not gonna promise you're gonna be able to do it right away, but things will get easier. You just have to lean on those around you. Amanda encourages friends and family of Monday survivors to check in on them regularly. She said she tried too hard to go through it alone and wishes she'd asked for more help. Live in the newsroom, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.